So here we are, we're back to our roots this week. The dippy detector is to go and metal detecting. And we're in the ploughed, newly ploughed field. Um, the undisclosed location where we have permission to do this. And yeah, we're excited to get going. Beautiful sunny day, no wind. What do you reckon, Leggett? Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's not too nippy either for the Christmas period. So uh, let's get cracking on. Let's get cracking on. Right, just taking a nice panoramic view of this fantastic landscape and Leggett's been shouting again. It's his first find. Let's go and have a look what he's got. Right. What you got? Here, here. What you got? <laughs> Found a coin. Gave first up. go, coin. Yeah. What you got? That's just a 2p. 2010. Ooh, lovely. There's uh, Gregory Hastings on there. Nah, that's old Eli well, I shouldn't say old, but she's getting there. So that's Elizabeth. How dare you! The good thing about metal detecting is sometimes you come across vegetables you can take home. But it's the Christmas period, so we've got plenty. I think Matty wants this one though. Incoming! Weird to think that back in the day, Henry VIII had like, how many wives did he have? Eight? Twenty, I think. Twenty wives, and he killed like five of them, didn't he? Yeah. Nowadays, that'd be like severe, bad serial killer news. Yeah. Real bad, but mad. you just think of him as a king, don't you? So I've just found this. As you can see, it looks like, and I think it is, a knife handle. This bit here is wooden. There's a little groove in there too, but this bit here round here is metal. Now, the story behind this is, as you know, King Henry VIII used to walk these lands. We've talked about it in many of our previous videos. Anyway, he's obviously had a barney with someone one night, stuck this bloke, the knife's come off in his body, he's left the handle, he's panicked, he's chucked it on the floor and he's ran off. Well, now we've got it, I'm going to take this to the police station and get this all sorted out. One more bit of gold. This year is all we need, and then we'll be set. Matty, leg it. What are you making me jump like that for? This better be good. I've got a bone to pick for you. What I'm is not, it? I'm not playing the blame game, but ever since last week when you found that Pokemon card, I've been getting messages. But why messages? That didn't even go out. Your Paplitoad's safe in your collection. It did not go out to anyone. Just don't worry about it. Well, I don't know, because do you want to know what they've been saying? They've been asking me to go Pokemon training and Pokemon catching with them. But Pokemon... Why? It didn't. No one heard about it, so I don't know who, how they found out. Well, I've kept it on the down low as much as I can. So there you go. I can't say any more. There you go. Well, let this be known. If I hear you've been talking, I'll expose your club penguin addiction. So tread lightly. Right, been to co-op this morning and found these egg and cress sandwiches. Well, there's only one now because I've gone and eaten one. 170, not bad, nothing on Lodon last week, but uh, yeah, 129 last week at Lodon, you can't beat it. But yeah, 170, not bad. Crying out loud, Matty, you're always talking about food. Coin! Matty's got a coin. So as you can see, I got really excited about this to be fair, because it doesn't look like a penny. It's too small, and I thought it could be an old five pence or something like that. Six pence, sorry, excuse me. But then I gave it the old rub. You can see Elizabeth there. As soon as I saw that, I thought, no, that's rubbish. 2006, flip it over, five pence coin. It's, it's very exciting when you find a coin like that because you have no idea how old it could be. But um, on to the next one. Right, now this is pretty good really because I've been going for a little bit and I found these. What they look like is just rock. But the thing is, when you find metallic rock, is you could be in luck, like I am now. This is what you would call mithril ore, and this would be smelted down back in the day by the Daedric clan, and this would be used for chain mail, chain body armour, so they would call this the mithril chain body. And to prove that it's metallic, I'll just... Yeah. So when you're metal detecting, you'll find a screen maybe like this where you can discriminate between what metals you actually want to find. Now you can see you can discriminate jewellery, custom relics, coins. But we've got a question for the Garrett 250 owners. Yeah, um, what is your favourite or best suited discrimination settings? Um, if you do have a favourite, let us know in the comment section below because we'd be interested to hear what you've got to say. 
All right, mate, he's been getting frustrated. He's been digging for about 25 minutes on these ones. Three holes, and uh, yeah, we'll see what he gets. Fell out of my hand. Oh, look at that. What we have here is one of the most popular things that everybody likes to drop and cause havoc with our metal detectors. This is a nail. Now, you find these in buildings, in roofs, and even in farmers' fields, and they're great. Ah, would you look here? Looks like our man Gregory Hastings of Cow Tower has been at it again. This time, he's had a can of Stella. Mad man. All right, uh, Matt, he's been shouting. He's been shouting. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go see what he's been up to. Just look at this. What do you think? Ooh. What's your opinion, Lego? I have no idea. Is it off like a s horse saddle? Look, there's two lumps of metal there. Two on the other side. I've not, I don't know, mate. Axe head. Definitely an axe head. Yeah. So what I've just deciphered in the last 12 seconds is, and confirmed with Damien, our antique dealer, this is a bronze axe head. Now, as you can see, the bit of wood would be going down there. Hold on a second. Excuse me. The bit of wood be, would be going down there. These are the two axe bits where you can hurt someone really badly. So yeah, we'll weigh this in at the scrapyard because this bronze is probably going to get us 500 grand in scrap metal. But that's what you get when you find bronze items. You just can't go wrong. Well, right, I've just dug a hole out and uh, you probably see there. It looks like a coin at first glance, but it, it's not, unfortunately. It's a button. But Matty doesn't know that. So I'm going to leave it in there like that, sticking out, just like that. And uh, I'm going I'm to call him over and see what he says. All right, Matty, I want you to do the honours on this one. You got what? I want you to do the honours on this one. Uh, oh, pick I up, know what this pick is up my be. pin pointer and put it in that hole. I know what this is going to be. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Are you being serious? Have a look, mate. No, you didn't. You're fooling me again. Okay. Coin. Seriously? No, it's a button. It's a button. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So here we are, finished for the day. We've had a fantastic day finding all sorts of historical items. My favourite item was the bronze axe head, which I'm now going to take to the scrapyard and get paid for. Um, Lego, what was your favourite item? My favourite item was probably the mithril ore, so I can now go to the furnace at home that I've got and smelt the ore and see what we can make out of it. Sounds good to me. Hope you had a good Christmas and everyone's doing well. So till next time, we wish you a happy new year.